how well this is going to work or anything, and I don't normally make videos in this kind of format, but this is very unscripted. I'm not really sure how to get this out in a very clear way, but um, a lot of uh, shooting games nowadays have... I think it's a big problem. I, I, I've, I've yet to hear anything close to a good argument for it. But they have random spread, and what that is, um, for some games, like, say, uh, take an old game like Quake, for example, most of the guns are like, this is your guy, and you shoot, you just have your gun, and you just shoot, like, a straight line projectile, goes in a straight line, hits your target. Some games, like, maybe you have a rocket instead, and instead that, um, that gun has, like, a travel time to it. Uh, give this slow demonstration, you know, like, it's it's going over time, whatever, um, but, like, it, it's, it's a, it's a challenge, it's, like, that's fine, that's, that well, works great, but, um, as more games have come out with time, people have tried to make games a bit more realistic, so you have stuff like some of the earlier Call of Duties, like, and instead, they'll have, like, okay, now, instead from being on a side-on view, this is face-on, uh, it would be like, as you shoot your gun, or as you're moving, or something like that, they wanted to make it so that you get, add more spread to the gun. It's not something I really enjoy, I prefer like games that encourage movement while you shoot stuff and move around. But if that's what you like, that's great. CSGO does it very well, I know some people really like that. Um, and it like makes you manage your movement in interesting ways, but yeah, the problem with that basically is like, imagine like a circle that like expands really, and within that, the spread like, it increases like the gradient off the, the bullets like to random amounts like within that like shape so it's like i could shoot like uh just my gun in full duty 4 and like the bullets could go like here 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 and here and here and that's kind of a problem because it gives people bad feedback sometimes because i could be spot on my aim the entire time and of course i could be sprinting at full speed so i'm not getting like but you never, it's like people could say, oh well you're still like, it's random, but like, I could be sprinting full on and aiming incorrectly, and just by random chance, all my bullets hit the best spot. And that's like, that's, that's bad, you're giving someone who's making a mistake a reward in the game off luck. And you can't like, there's no like, get good solution to this, because it's just, it just becomes luck. So I think it like, inherently like, discredits like what people have learned in the game and it's not like an, a huge deal but when you have things these days like uh, game tournaments um there's actual money on the line uh people want to take these things a bit more seriously um i think it does kind of a, a disservice to um uh what people are learning and what people have put time into um, cause some people like to put a lot of time into their hobbies, and if you just play one game and you feel like you're um, not really getting rewarded for it, and if some people realise it's random, they're probably not going to feel like, I feel like putting less time into things. So there's Solution 2, um, and this is a uh, Counter-Strike solution essentially. So Counter-Strike, instead of like the bullets going around and place each time, they have like said spread patterns. So like an AK spread pattern will be like, I don't know, this is off the top of my head, it's like something like that. So it's like, oh, I know which way to like kind of drag my mouse down. And I know the faster I'm moving, the wider those bullets will spread apart. And that's excellent. That's a great solution. The issues that come up with that, that information isn't really available anywhere. And it's kind of hard to deliver that information to people. You have to like look it up on the wiki. It's like not something that's inherently in the game. So, uh, and it's just like, is that like, is that something really like I'm going to enjoy doing? Like memorizing spread patterns? That doesn't sound like much fun. So that's while it's a good solution, it's a bit it's not completely ideal. And there are gonna be those people you meet who you play against who are just gonna like spray perfectly down with the AK like every time. So to fix that, have a little bit on top of that set spread pattern. I think there's a little bit of um, RNG spread as well on top of that. And that's 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 also like that's that's a better middle ground. I'll give them that. Um, and that's pretty good. So I'm going to offer uh, a new solution. This is how I think it should be done. So essentially, every time you shoot your gun, uh, it will take from that a like an estimation. So say I'm the character here, and this is me shooting my gun. And let's say um, 
So if you just shoot normal, perfect, like you're crouched and everything, not moving very quick, you shoot your bullets in a straight line. And I'm not saying like CSGO or anything should do this. I'm saying if you're trying a new game, maybe you're a developer, or maybe you just like programming, you want to try something out, here's this in a straight line. But then if you start moving, or you're like an automatic weapon, however you want to do your spread, but let's say if the spread increases, it instead of like the bullet going in a straight line, it kind of becomes like a cone shape. So here, like, uh, say this is a 100 damage bullet. This is like this spread because of the size. The, the wider the bullet gets, the wider the hitbox gets, that um, changes the value of the damage. And I'm sure the amount of damage determined by how much of that cone hits their body. So say, like, I'm like on uh, miles away and there's like uh, a guy on the other side of the map. Obviously, my circle of AoE is going to be so big that it's going to do like less than 50% damage each shot. Um, for some people, uh, a lot of smart people out there smarter than me, probably alarm bells are going off in your head saying, oh, well, wouldn't that surely feel weird? Because it's like, really, wouldn't that be weird though? If you're like using a sniper rifle and you were just running and you took a shot, did half damage, surely a sniper rifle should kill someone every time or something like that, you know, like a, a, a rifle or something that should feel, if you want like every bullet to like do a consistent amount of damage even over range. I think a lot of games have that, I quite like that, I quite like when guns don't have drop off, stuff feels a bit consistent, that's what you're after of course. Um, well, there's a solution to that too, imagine like a, a bar, like a variable, and each one of these builds up to a tick of damage, so say I fire a shot and that like builds up to 50% of damage. I hit, I miss the shot, and it doesn't do any damage yet. But for like this, this player to this player's interaction, it saves this value temporarily. This this value in the middle here. Sorry, obviously I can't point at the screen. I don't know what I was thinking there. So then, um, uh, say I do two shots, then this value fills up for like a hundred. So it's like okay, the player has done enough skilled shots to measure. So now it hits the player, if that makes sense. It like adds to this value a little bit more. So um, that way you can still keep like the bullet damage feel like these one single punchy hits, which I think are a lot more fun in my personal view, but that could go on to a, another video. So you can have spread on stuff like rifles and all sorts, but you can still maintain that, that level of skill and it's not determined by RNG but you can have like spread on like uh, single shot rifles and stuff and like you know I, I, I hope that's very well clear and clarified not sure if I'll put this up because it's a bit unextended but if people have any questions or anything I could clarify better I'd love to hear that in the comments if you're still confused I'll probably pin a comment about it that maybe clarifies it better but that's how I think we should do stuff like random spread. I think we should really, it's like time to move away from RNG a lot more. It can be great fun on stuff like RNG that like creates a level, like in a game like Spelunky or Binding of Isaac. Is that something you can react to? But like if the player's actions themselves, like if I don't feel in control of the character I'm playing as, and it's not like intentional, it doesn't really feel quite right to me. Just to clarify, the problem that's trying to be fixed here is on a, like, a subconscious level, a lot of these games feel really inconsistent and the people trying to learn to get better at these things, if you keep getting rewarded at times you shouldn't have been, um, it can have like, you know, damaging impacts on how you play stuff and you're getting very frustrated at yourself. So it's worth having a think about, at least. Even if things don't change, worth giving it a try. So there's that. I don't know what to call that. Game design thing. Nice. Hey! Like an unlaid as well as starts a fist fight. Your right to property is antithetical to crime.